Hello traders, Gary Wagner with the WFGForex.com, your daily market update for Forex Gold. It is Monday, the 17th day of May, approximately 7.30 here in Honolulu, Hawaii, and this is the Daily Report. Forex Gold is currently trading under pressure. It is, uh, it's down about uh, three, three and a half dollars trading at one, two, two, seven, point six, eight. Uh, according to the street, uh, gold prices were struggling all morning uh, near their record highs. And this is from the street. Uh, gold prices in New York were slipping Monday as jittery investors sold gold for cash as the euro hit a four-year low. I find that kind of interesting. We're going to talk about that in a bit. Uh, they go on to say the gold prices were rallying in early trading as bargain hunters in gold bought that at a discount after prices reached a record high last week of 1249 12.49 an ounce but profit takers beat out margin hunters as spooked investors opted for cash over gold some experts think this trend will be short lived and that buyers will seek the gold at discounted prices this kind of a tug of war uh, will most likely confine gold into a trading range that is tight over the short term. On today's report, we're going to talk about our positions. We are going to extremely tighten up and look to pull profits in our Euro-Dollar gold trade. We do have some profits, but we did see them come down uh, quite some uh, a bit. And also a pattern that I see forming in the uh, US dollar gold spread and I'm going to be looking at our Elliott wave count and now that we do have some tops in place we can actually begin to look at uh, Fibonacci retracement so a lot to do on today's show and let's get right to it now we did get stopped out of our very small position that we had in US gold that we purchased yesterday as you know we kept a very very tight stop there and we were stopped out. You can see our loss right in here. We lost about $12 on the trade. Still an unrealized profits on uh, the position in the euro dollar. We are still looking at about 18000 So I do like that a lot. The interesting thing that I'm noticing is that we've got a, a very, very strong potential top forming in the market. We've got a candlestick signal that's indicating it. And we also, as all of you traders who follow my report know, that according to my Elliott Wave count right now, we looked at 1246. So in that area, 1249 was a high, but we looked at 1246 as a potential top on this wave three. If that is the case, we would see it go into a retracement. The retracement, according to the count, would take us roughly to 1188, and then we would have our last wave five or final wave up. Now, the first thing that I want to look at before I go into uh, the Elliott wave count is really the straight vertical rise that we've seen. If you take a look at the euro dollar, at the Australian dollar, and the US dollar, all of these different gold spreads, you can see this almost linear move up. In all my time in trading, I have never seen a market that has gone up this quickly, this fast in gold. The last time we saw this market break out, it certainly didn't have this type of a vertical wave up. And it's worth taking note. The reason that I am saying this is at some point the market will retrace, at some point the market will correct. Paul Volcker used to say, Trees don't grow to the sky, never have, never will. He was talking about the stock market boom. In the same way, we have to look at the points in which we will see potential retracement. Now, long term, I'm still extremely bullish. However, I'm right now very, very concerned that the, the way we've seen the market go up, meaning the, the pace and the volatility will give us equal volatility if and when we see this market retrace. So we want to pay note to that. And I also want to look at our wave count at this point. All right, traders, I've gone ahead and put up our Elliott wave count. For those of you who have been following us long term, uh, you're familiar with this, but I'll just kind of go through this very, very briefly. When we hit our record top back in December, that was our final five way count. So that this wave right in here this red wave, this is our A wave. So the complete cycle in an Elliott wave is total of eight, one through five, 
Those are the, the impulse and then the corrective waves A, B, and C. So we had A, B, and C. This did take us to the bottom of the market. And then uh, this happened right around February 2nd. Once that happened, we went into a new wave count. The wave count took us to wave one, corrective wave down, and we're currently in wave three. According to Elliott Wave Theory, this wave, wave three, is 1.6 times the length of wave one. And that's where I drew my calculation of one, two, four, six as a top in the market. Now, if this holds true, and it's a big if because the market is, of course, still trading, but if this holds true, one, two, four, six certainly wasn't right. That's right around here. But it was pretty darn close. One, two, four, nine was the actual top of this market. So, if this wave count holds true, we should see it go into what's called a corrective phase or wave number four. Now, if it continues to hold the wave count, this being our third wave right in here, and we do get a corrective wave, that corrective wave, according to Elliott Wave, should take the market at about a 38% retracement of the total move from the bottom to the top of our number three wave. If that's the case, that's going to take it down to roughly 1185. That would be our corrective wave. And then we would have our final wave, wave five, which would take us to a area that I'll calculate and plot for us in just a little bit. So that according to the Elliott wave count, we would look at our final wave five to take us roughly between $1,285 and $1,300 for the final and fifth wave before we go into our corrective phase or our corrective cycle. Now, what other indications do we see right now that the market might be a little bit top heavy? And that's where candlesticks are really going to come into play. You'll notice this one pattern that we're looking at right here, the activity that we've seen. We've had this great surge up and we had this one small bodied candle in a star formation, another candle small bodied with an incredibly long uh, range or high and low. This is more of a doji and then this black down day. This is the current down day that we're looking at here. You'll also notice that I've drawn a line. The line that I've drawn is our basic support area that I'm looking at and this support area is based on the record tops that we had back in December. So what am I looking at? If we see a break below this one area, this is what I do consider critical support because it's one of those tops that we can look at if we actually go back in history and see the last top. A break below this top to me would indicate the market is in a corrective phase. If the market goes into a corrective phase, as I said, I would look for the market to carry down probably to a 38% retracement, and I'm basing that again on our Fibonacci numbers. This is that 38% retracement. It's drawn off of this low and this high here. I would look for a corrective phase to there, and then after that, I would look for our final wave up. So it would look something like this a corrective wave down, and then a move back up to our fifth wave. Our fifth wave should carry us anywhere between 1285 and 1288. And that's based upon the fact that your, your fifth wave is going to be about the same size as wave one, and wave one moved about $100. That's where I'm coming up with that calculation. So that if this actually does hold true, traders, I think we have a clear indication of where we want to look to enter the market and to exit the market on the long side. I'm still very, very bullish long term, but I do believe at this point we possibly will enter a corrective phase. So what are my recommendations? Well, my recommendations, we are going to sideline on the US dollar gold spread, absolutely sideline. In terms of our euro dollar, I do not want to let the profits that we had erode. It broke through that 1,000 mark. It rallied up to about uh, 1,010 euros. And we have what's called a shooting star. 
A shooting star is very indicative of a market under pressure. It does look like it wants to come down. Currently trading at 993.15. Traders, move your stop to 990 on a protective stop. I actually plan on that stop to get hit. If it doesn't want to continue higher, I want to pull profits. I want to sideline. Look to either initiate a short position or simply wait for the dip and buy the rally. This has been Gary Wagner with WFG4X.com, your daily market update for Forex Gold. And as always, we're wishing you good trading. Once again, traders, go ahead, move your stop to 990 on the Euro dollar protective stop. Let's lock in those profits. We'll talk to you tomorrow on Tuesday. Bye bye. When I look out my window